Thank you, and thank you for the uh, opportunity to stand here. It's a great pleasure for me because I'm going to do something that I really, really like. But I want to tell you first that I think that one of the most important aspects of the industrial PhD program is that it offers a fantastic opportunity for knowledge sharing. Knowledge transfer and knowledge sharing has been a key focus point for ATV during the last 75 years. Eventually, other parts of Danish society caught up with it, and research policy of today has communication of knowledge as a central phenomenon. Today, nobody will disagree that if knowledge is to have effect for the betterment of society, it has to be communicated and shared with relevant actors and institutions. In this situation, we have to realize that knowledge travels best on two legs. Effectful knowledge is not a resource that can be packed into neat little packages and distributed through the mail system. If knowledge is to have effect, it has to be communicated by a person. A person who is deeply engaged and who has a deep intrinsic motivation to share knowledge, to collaborate about its uses, and also sometimes to just get the message across. The beauty of the industrial PhD program is that it offers the perfect framework for young people of such a build to develop their skills of collaboration and communication. I have worked with a large number of industrial PhD students and I've always been continuously thrilled to experience how dedicated these young researchers are to the task of making knowledge useful through sharing. And I'm therefore here very, very proud to be here to present the Communication Award of the Industrial PhD Association. The association is built totally on voluntary work by the PhD students themselves. And it's doing a great job of facilitating network and exchange of experiences between the industrial PhD students across a variety of fields. Its work is sponsored by ATV, of course, and I'm proud to be a member of that organization that sort of made this child and is now still supporting it. Other sponsors include the Ministry of Education, the Alexia Foundation, the Covey Foundation, the Nordisk, Novozymes, and Lundbeck Research. And in collaboration with these sponsors, the Industrial PhD Association has, initi has initiated this annual award, uh, uh, annual communication prize. Each of the participating PhD students has written a short article about a central piece of research-based knowledge. The three winning pieces of this competition will be published in the Danish research communication platform Videnskab de Co. Particularly, they will be published on their new site, subsite, which is called Forskerzonen which I urge you all to go and check out, because that's a really good idea that they've had at Videnskab Deco. And I must say, in general, the contributions to this competition are, uh, is, they were really, really good. After quite a lot of deliberation, my fellow judges and I decided to award the prizes to the following three PhD students. And before I mention their names, I just want to say that all of their contributions were chosen because they all were interesting and they gave us a wish to learn more about the subject that they were about. They were focused on relevant problems. They were giving us specific information and making us wiser. And they were also written in a language which is used by ordinary people. So I therefore want to announce that the third prize goes to Sine Groot Brodersen who is a PhD, industrial PhD student in, no, in Nordea and is um, a student at Copenhagen Business School. And she wrote a piece called Hvorfor arbejde mere for mindre, which translated as Why work more for less, which obviously is quite an important uh, point in, this, in, in these times. It's a really, really interesting piece about how we motivate people to work and what it is that motivates people to do more than just the bare minimum. The second prize goes to my movement from the Experimentarium, that's the Danish Science Center. She wrote a piece called Danske Gymnasieliv og Taler Naturvidenskaben Hjel, 
which is translatable into Danish high school students talk science to death. And the point of that piece is that high school students have to, uh, are to deliberate and discuss uh, science in their classes, but their argumentation style is so antagonistic that they don't actually learn anything from the argumentation because the only thing they do is they focus on how they can sort of kill each other with their arguments. So that's also really, really important and right on spot on for what ATV is interested in. But now I'm really, really happy to announce that the first prize goes to Louise Klinge Nielsen. And she's a PhD student at Copenhagen University. And she's employed by the University College of Metropol. And she wrote a piece called Skoleelever taler mindre, når læreren skiller ud. Uh, undskyld. Skoleelever lærer mindre, når læreren skiller ud. <laughs> Which is, school kids learn less when the teacher scolds which is a really, really interesting phenomenon. So we might think that, well, now they have to sit down and shut up and listen to what is going on in school, but actually that makes the, 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 the pupils in school concentrate on a lot of other things that are actually learning something. So it's a fascinating piece. And I want to say, Louise, you win this prize because your article is very well structured and it has a clear angle. It's dealing with a very important problem. It's written in a very lively language and with very good use of empirical quotes. So the kids come to live in the piece. They speak directly to the reader. And it's also telling the reader something which is very, very important and which will make a difference in the future. So I just want to say congratulations. I, it was a pleasure reading your piece and I'm really looking forward to see how you use your communication skills in the future. So I want to invite you up here to get this Small. <laughs> and the diploma. So congratulations. I will hold this. Oh. I think if I stand next to you, we don't have to move the thing. So okay. Just... Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I just give a tiny little speech, I believe you're all hungry, but of course it's, it's wonderful to be professionally acknowledged by winning a communication award. Um, and even money, suddenly I have the payment for a new car, which is very much needed, so thank you very much. <laughs> but um, the reason why I'm really happy today um, is that my article is being printed at videnscape.dk because the subject is very important. Um, the article, is, as Maya said, about some of the negative consequences uh, of teachers' anger and yelling at their students. It reflects some of the uh, results of my industrial PhD about teacher and pupil relations, uh, where I also show the miracles that some, peop uh, some teachers create every day in the classrooms. The new generations uh, hold the future in their hands, and it is so important that our schools prepare them well for this task. So I hope my article can put focus on the importance of um, uh, the importance of positive uh, teacher and pupil relations for pupils' learning processes and for their personal growth, um, because that is the overall intention with my ind industrial PhD project. So thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you.